Hello fellow potatoes! Back with me, Potato XY here and today I'm gonna do a deck profile for one of the most favorite deck of all time, Levante, a legend world sword deck. Like every almost everybody loves this deck and they waited for this card to came out and just recently uh, the Driven to Disorder has been released and this deck got much stronger and for that we're gonna do a deck profile and let's get started the body is of course this guy here demonic sword of the king Levanti okay so it's uh, equipped Cost pay two gauge when you have no monsters on the field. This card can attack and can be destroyed. You can call monsters to the field, and you may equip any number of items. Yeah, so in this deck, you don't use any. Uh, you won't be attacking with any monsters, but instead you you can equip as many items as you can, just like the unlimited blade works. And you can imagine just how awesome is that. It's like you can have seven number of cards that can attack and that's just awesome okay so uh, the next skill is all items in your hand get an additional equip cost a one gauge so if you for example would like to equip something with one gauge you need to pay two gauge instead and then it also has an overkill by paying one gauge and discarding a card from your hand during your turn so you can use it during battle phase or if you want during final phase for whatever reason uh, you can put the top 5 cards of your deck into the drop zone and equip up to 3 items from among them without paying their equip cost. Uh, so, if you're an old player, you might know that there's a, an old school card called Excalibur which is really strong and it has a very hard condition to equip it. But with this card, you can equip it with no cost. And yes, that will hit your opponent really hard. Okay, that's the buddy and we run 4 copies of him of course because without this guy here we cannot play the swords. Let's just put them aside. Okay, the next card I will be talking about is a new card from Driven, Driven to Disorder. Uh, Sword of the King Excalibur Replica. So, yeah. this guy here, uh, you can discard a... Uh, sorry. Let me just hold it this way. Okay. So, okay. Discard a card with Sword of the King in this card name from your hand when you have 10 or more hero in your drop zone. Then during the bell of this card, when this card takes a loan, if you have 4 or more hero on your field, your opponent can counter. Has a penetrate and double attack with power 10,000 and critical 2. So, yes. This card is just really awesome. Uh, this is the replica of the, the Excalibur I just say and also look at that sick foil pattern it's so awesome oh my god so yeah with Levantine skill you can equip this guy here without its equip cost so yeah maybe if you're lucky enough you can get two copies of him on the field and start attacking double attack which can be nullified and that's really awesome so, okay so this is your main attacker the next one is also a new card from Given to Disorder. It's a Thunder Empire Sword. Okay. Focus. It's Destructive Sword of the King Frishula. With a power of 7000 and critical of 2. Equip cost, put a card from the field into your dungeon and pay to gauge. It's pretty expensive, but with Levantine, you can equip it with no cost. Counter act if your card attacks 3 times or more during this turn, you can destroy a card in your opponent's field. Then if you have 4 lives or less, you can stand this card. And only once per turn. It also has a double attack. So yeah, uh, the aim of the deck is you want to OTK your opponent as fast as you can. So most of your, the cards, you will be using them to attack your opponents directly. But uh, if you have Trishula, uh, you can also wipe the board with him. So you attack the player and use its skill to destroy your opponent's monster at, on left or right. So 
So you should definitely put this card in your deck. It's a really awesome card. Play three copies of him. Next up, we have a. Uh, it's a card from the set before this. Sword of the King's Cabard, Sutter Cross. It's a three thousand with critical of one. Uh, basically, this is a searcher for any sort of the king. But most of the time, you'll be using this to search for Levantine if you don't have it in your hand. When you equip this card, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, put up to one item from with Sword of the King in its card name from your deck into your hand and shuffle your deck. So, uh, usually you'll be using this skill to search for Levantine, but if not, you can use it to search for other items like, for example, Excalibur, Trishula, or any other item I'll show you later on. Okay, I play 4 copies of this because it will be horrible if you don't get your Levantine fast. Next, I have shoot. Sorry, technical difficulties. So yeah, the next card I'll be playing is this guy here. Okay, it's Fabricated Sword of the King, Dying Slide Replica. It's a, re it's a good item for pressure, uh, 6000 with 1 critical. Blood Sucking False King. When this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monster or deal damage to your opponent, you can put the top card of your deck into your ditch and gain 2 life. Then if you have 3 or more hero on your field, you can draw a card. So basically if this card's attack hits, uh, you can charge 1, draw 1, and heal 2. And yeah, uh, 6000 is not uh, weak. 6000 is a really good number. Weak. So you can like hit almost everything with this with this card. Uh, I play three copies of them because its ability is a uh, one time only, uh, once per turn kind of ability. So yeah, actually you don't have any much of him if you equip two. You would rather want to equip more Excaliburs or Trishula. The next card I'm playing is this fabricated sword of the king. Unsigned Iron Sword Replica. This is a new card from Driven to Disorder. Uh, 1000, critical of 1, and it has a defense of 3000. If you are being attacked by a monster with 10,000 or greater, this card gets defense plus 20,000. And when this card attacks, if you have 4 more items equipped, you can destroy a monster in your opponent's field. So, yes, this is also a card that helps you to clean your opponent's board. Uh, and it also has a protection, a defense of 3000 and if your opponents for example is Duel Jaeger or uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, whatever card with 10,000 power, you have a thousand of 20, you have a defense of 23,000 and yeah, it's not that easy to uh, overcome that unless you're playing Chaos. Okay. So how many swords already are we playing? 3 and uh, 4, 4, 3, 4, 3, 2. Yeah, that's all. Hey buddy, sorry for the double technical difficulties. Yeah, I'm recording this at midnight and I don't know why I'm having a blackout twice today. So yeah, let's just continue where I left off. This is the next item I'm gonna play. Uh, this is actually not a sword. It's Minyasis Treasure's Chamber, Room of Sword of the King. So yeah, this is the room to store all your swords. Uh, abilities of all hero on your field can be nullified. And all hero on your field, other than this card gets power plus 1000. Counter, you can choose a hero on your field other than this card. Play one gauge and rest this card if you do stand the chosen card. So I play two copies of him because yeah, it's 
always a good idea to restand your Excalibur so your opponent cannot counter it. Uh, but since this deck is a gauge heavy deck, you might really want to uh, watch your gauge output and make sure you really you still have the gauge to equip more item or do other stuff. Here I play two copies of him. Okay, the next one is the only monster in the deck, which is Valkyrie All Knowing Albedor. Uh, okay, this is the old art. I prefer the new art better. So, the cards with, you cast with Great Spell and card name can't be nullified. Uh, but we didn't use any Great Spell in here, so uh, it's the second skill that's awesome. When this card is discarded from your hand, you put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. So yes, basically this will be a fodder you use to when you want to discard a card from your hand. For example, for the skill of this cupboard, if you discard Awidol, you can also get a, one free gauge and one free draw. And that's just awesome. Yes, and there are also some other cards in the deck that needs discarding. So yes, running three copies of him or her is not a bad idea. Okay, let me just show you guys the old artworks. I think some of you guys might like this one better with all the gold foil, but I prefer the new art. Still looking for one though. Okay, next going on to the spells. First, I run three copies of this new secret spell from Driven to Disorder. It's IBW. Not UBW. <laughs> it's Infallible Blade Wall. It's a set spell with a counter act. Put a hero, monster, or item from your field into the drop zone. And if you do, choose and use one of the following two. You may only use this ability once per turn. For this turn, the next damage dealt to you is reduced to zero. And the second ability is draw a card. And what's good about this card is you can set more than one of this on your field. And if you like, for example, you have two copies of him. Uh, this already a defense card. You can sack two items to reduce two them, two next damages into zero. And uh, what's awesome actually about this card is usually uh, some of the item equipped with Excalibur is uh, it's not the cards you really want. For example, you equip too much cupboard. It's a uh, three thousand with one critical. So after you search. It doesn't have any more purpose in your field, so you can set it to draw one with this card. I run three copies of this, and then the next card is I think this is the strongest card, the strongest update uh, Levantine gets in the set. It's, it's actually a common card, but it's so strong. You may only cast this card if you have no monsters on your field, which is of course, and equip up to two hero items from your hand without paying their equip cost. Okay, uh, this is really strong. For, you know, uh, Levantine's equip cost is pay two gauge, and Excalibur has a wonderful, hard to achieve uh, equip cost. So. With this card, you can just directly equip one Levantine and one Excalibur, or one Levantine and one Trishula, and that's just why I will not focus. Okay, okay, yeah, a free equip from your hand, and that's awesome. I want three copies of him because uh, sometimes this card gets stuck in your hand if you have not if you don't have any good items. So yeah, I think 3 copies will be perfect. Next up is also uh, one of the best card Legend World gets from the late, uh, not the latest set, it's from the one from before, Merlin's Advice. You only cast this card if you have a hero on your field, a uh, hero item is also fine. And look at the top 3 cards of your deck, put up to 1 of, from them into your gauge, put up to 1 hero into your hand and the rest into the drop zone. So it's charge one, draw one, and uh, mill one. But you can choose the card, whatever card you want. And for this deck, almost every card in the deck is 
has a hero attribute, including the spells. So, yeah, I would like to run four copies of this guy just to make sure I can get my Levantine and get all of its support. Next, I run two copies of Fable of the Sword Sage. Uh, back then, you need to play four copies of this guy, but apparently right now he's uh, he's overpowered by another new card. Let me just read the skill. You may only cast this card if you have a hero item equipped. Cast cost pay one life, and you may choose one of the following two effects. The first one, you may discard a hero from your hand. Hero item from your hand, and if you do, you can draw two. And the second one for this turn, all hero items on your field get power plus seven thousand. Okay, so yeah, I think most of the time you'll be using the first skill to search for your Levantine. Uh, but since there's already so many draw power in the deck, and sometimes you might want to play the second one. For example, like if you fight uh, decks with high defense, like uh, Tora maybe, or even the same Levantine deck, if they equip the unsigned iron sword, they will have a 20,000 defense, so you might want to use this card to make your item stronger. Next, whoa, this, this card here, it's so sick. And yeah. let's see, it's Eagle Guard. Yes, this is a generic legend world spell, so you can use it in any legend world. The cast cost is discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. You may only cast single guard once per turn. It's just like that. You discard one and then you draw two cards. But why is this card so good? It's because you have uh, Alvidol in the deck. You, because you have Alvidol in legend world. So instead of discard uh, just discard one and draw two. You get to discard one, draw three, and charge one, and that's a really big advantage for you. You can also run this card, for example, in toilet deck or uh, Asgard deck or uh, wider Sarkal deck or uh, Valkyrie deck. Or you can run this in every Legend World deck. This card is just so awesome. I run three copies of him. Next, uh, it is also an odd spell. You can see here, it's skilled generals inside. You can choose one of the following two ability. The first one is give all items on your field and straight and counter. You can set an item from your field to the drop zone, and if you do, you gain four life. So yeah, basically this is also a very good card which you can use for offense or for defense. Uh, as you can see, Levantine has no monsters in play other than Alvido, which you will not want to call. So you have no protection, uh, you don't have any center monster to protect you. So you need cards to, uh, defensive card to protect you, and one of them is this guy here, which can uh, make you gain 4 life. And for the offensive use, you can give all items on your field penetrate to fight uh, decks that a uh, center base deck, for example, uh, Dual Jaeger, or maybe a Thora if they uh, have bad luck and need to play the one that can be penetrated. So yeah, yeah, I run two copies of this guy. It's just good. Next, we have four copies of Bloody Holy Grail. Okay, this uh, triple rare. A very strong spell too in Legend World. You only cast this card if you are being attacked. You can notify the attack and then if you have an item equipped, put up to one hero other than Bloody Holy Grail from your top zone into your hand. Uh, yes. You notify and then you take a hero from your top zone into your hand. Whatever it is. A spell, a monster, an item, whatever hero you want from your top zone, you can add it back to your hand with this card. And that's why it's a triple where it's awesome. <laughs> and of course, I run four copies of this. And next, two copies of Holy Grail. And okay, you see here, Holy Grail is a very old school nullifier for 
Legend World, Melni casts this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you don't have a monster in the center, you nullify the attack. It's, the condition is like Green Dragon Shield, but it doesn't have the gain 1 life or charge 1 or whatever. And what's good about this card here is because it's also a hero, it, has also, it also has a hero attribute. So, uh, if you have this card here and the Bloody Holy Grail in your hand, you can cast this to nullify your opponent's attack, and then cast Bloody Holy Grail to take the Holy Grail back to your hand if you need another nullifier. Yes, that's the combo you play it with. Uh, you can know three times with these two cards here. I only run two of it because we ha also have the general inside and the new set spell. Where is it? Uh, 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 oh, here. The infallible bait wall which can reduce damage. And the next one is this. An impact, finally, for Levantine. Okay. It's Taboo Savage Form. If you guys have seen the spoilers for next set, you can check it at buddyspoiler.com. Okay, uh, Levantine will have a new form which is the Savage Form. So yes, this impact uh, shows you what the Savage Form looks like first. The skill is you may only cast this card if you have no monsters on your field. By paying 3 gauge, you can equip up to one hero item from a deck without paying its equip cost. And then you shuffle your deck and get another attack phase. Okay, uh, you know what's awesome about this card? It's because this card can search for Levantine. So by paying 3 gauge, you can equip uh, your... If you don't have Levantine, you can equip it directly to, from, your, from your deck to your field. And then you get another battle phase. And Levantine skill, uh, as I tell you earlier, its overkill can be used any time during your turn. So you can also use it at battle phase. So you final phase, cast this, equip Levantine, gain another attack phase, and then Levantine's overkill to equip three more items. And let's just see. But since the uh, the cast cost of this impact is pretty expensive, it's three gauge. I only run two copies of it. Okay, uh, that's all of the cards I'm running in this deck. But uh, I see some people play. Okay, you might ask why I don't run Excalibur, the OG Excalibur in this deck. Okay, the reason is I don't have it right now. But if I have the Excalibur, I would probably change uh, some two Trishula with it and maybe one of the Iron Sword with Excalibur. So I will run three Excalibur instead. Because this card here is just so strong, you can equip any uh, any cards from your hand. For example, you can like equip one Excalibur, one Excalibur replica, and that's so sick. That's awesome. And oh yeah, another card that some people play is also this new card from the set. Uh, tree, tree, tree. <laughs> it's really hard to read Legend World's card name. Tree Magistosis Alchemy. Uh, cast cost, you can pay one life and then choose and use one of the following two ability. Wait, yes, Legend World cards multiple abilities cards. Put a hero from item from the drop zone into your hand and the counter for this turn, all hero on your field cannot be returned to hand by your opponent's card effect. So yeah, uh, Levantine cannot be destroyed but it can be returned to hand and that's a problem for Levantine's user. If Levantine's worth bounce back to your hand, all the other items you are equipped with will be destroyed. Uh, this is actually a very good card, but right now I don't have any slot in the deck. I couldn't find any slot in the deck. So I probably just run this uh, in my sideboard. And yep. I think that's all the deck recipe for Levantine sort deck. If you have any comments or any suggestions for my deck, uh, please let me know in the comment section below or if you want to ask something, please do. Uh, yes, this card is... Uh, no, not this card. Uh, this deck is really strong and it's really fun to play because yeah, you can equip yourself with uh, numerous swords and you can like... How, just how awesome is that? attack with 7 swords and 
or maybe more and uh, yeah it's really cool a re it's a really cool and strong deck so be sure you legend if you are a legend world player or if you aren't you can try to play this deck because it's really fun and strong <laughs> I don't know how many times I repeat that already so that's the end of our deck profile for level 10 I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe and like our Facebook page too. I'll leave it in the description below. So, Hyper Potatoes, signing out.